Okay, so properties. When I go back and look at this class, um, certainly this could easily be a property rather than a method. So let's go ahead and comment out the method, and we'll need to do that inside of the implementation as well. Let's turn this into a property. So the way we declare a property again is using the property keyword. I can then apply attributes to that property in terms of the implementation details that the compiler is going to generate for me. So I'm going to go ahead and say non-atomic and I'm going to say uh, weak. I don't necessarily want it to hold on to a reference and I'll say UI color star the color. Now in Xcode project didn't build, but that's because of the um, issue of using the uh, method in this other uh, piece of code. So we'll get to that in a moment. Um, the cool thing about Xcode after 4.5 is that this is all you need to do. Um, in earlier versions of Xcode, you'd actually have to go into the implementation file and provide the implementation of the getter and setter. Um, then the synthesize keyword was added where you could say synthesize a property name and that would generate the code for you. Um, that's all we need to do. All we need to do is go into the header file, declare the property, and then we're done. Unless you want to implement the getter and setter yourself, which you certainly can. Now, the reason that this is not compiling, again, is if I go into the app delegate, this is no longer um, semantically correct because the interface no longer exposes a method called get the color. What it exposes now is a property. So now I can say my color dot the color. Okay. Oops, it doesn't need the brackets. Okay. So my color dot the color. So that's great. Now remember, this is syntactic sugar on top of the actual methods. So if I wanted to, instead of saying this, I could say my color set the color. So you can see here is set the color. And if I go to G, sorry, the color, there is a method called the color, which does the getting of the color. So the dot syntax, again, is just syntactical sugar, but it's nice syntactical sugar. And more often than not, you'll see people using properties over the getter and setter methods just again, because it's more compact, uh, more readable, and sort of more in line with what you're really doing, which is, you know, exposing um, a piece of data uh, through your class in that way.